scouts here today, just a couple. We'll go to regionals, it'll be packed. Just do your best, honey, I love you. Your mom will be so proud of you. That was a boy who beat Lindsay. I know. What do you mean you know? He's, he's transgender. He's what? He is a she. And they're allowed to compete. Wait, are they allowed to be in the locker room with girls? With my daughter? My Lindsay? This is ridiculous. My daughter's not going to regionals because some boy put on a one piece and disguised himself as a girl? You missed out on an opportunity today, Lindsay. A college opportunity. Say I represent you and your daughter. We'd lose, and along the journey, you, me, your daughter, and my law firm would be penalized. So you're scared. <laughs> Mr. McCabe, are you living in the same America I'm living in? Evidently not. Stool has a strict policy to support inclusion. That's got to be getting harder now there's over 100 genders. Why don't you allow academia to handle this when you just stick to sports? This is a, a controversial issue, and I see a young lady here that may have a valid complaint. God is relevant in this courtroom. All of our witnesses swore to tell the truth before God. Order, order, order! So we do what we've always done. We pray. Lord, please keep these girls safe. And keep moving forward. Last time that they strive to honor you in everything they do. And we pray. We fight. Wow. Why we're here, I'll tell you why we're here. We're here because Dad didn't save enough money for college or someone didn't win a race in a, a swimming pool. So God created humankind in his image. The image of God. He created them male and female. He created them. That's it. The Bible says God put on our inward parts. We are fearful and wonderfully made.